Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. You obviously have a world of athletic talent, whether it's fun, fast, and kick. I mean, <laughs> come from a family of everybody played everything. What was it about soccer that attracted you as a way to the professional game? Well, I started playing soccer when I was three, and I fell in love with it then. Um, I grew up playing basketball as well, and I tried to play basketball as long as I could, but um, soccer obviously had my heart. And um, playing at Carolina, you know, you just fall even more in love with it, and I'm just super grateful. To have the opportunity to have a league in front of you, to be able to see that as a goal, how tangible? How, how much did that matter? Do you think that it was a tangible thing? Yeah, we we are so fortunate as younger players to have the older players that paved the way for us, and I'm truly so grateful for them that we have the opportunity to look up to such incredible women and um, just have such great role models in front of us. Was it was it like a goal for a long time for you on NWSL or does that come later? Um, it's definitely been a goal. Uh, growing up with the Courage so close to me, I've, I've been to so many of their games and their head coach used to be my club coach. So I've, I've been very familiar with the NWSL for a long time. So it's just been, it's a dream come true that I'm finally in it, in the league. So I'm very excited. You were yeah. such a prolific college for women's soccer. Just what have you learned from USC that you're going to bring to Pride? Um, never take a day off. Um, Carolina, there's, we are such a close group, but there's always someone ready to um, kick it on your heels, just ready to play. And uh, you learn that early at Carolina. I've obviously faced a lot of adversity there, but I'm super grateful for that. Um, and it made me a better player in person. So I'm very Seth excited. Seth Hines used to be a professional. You know, you get to work with him now. What are you looking forward to picking his brain about? Oh, everything. Um, <laughs> soccer, life, you know, just super, super excited to be with him and can't wait to get started. A lot of conversation about, uh, or any conversation about your role as of this moment, or uh, is that, you know, kind of leaving that for another day? Um, obviously, I would like to have as much of the role as possible, but I'm ready for whatever comes my way and I'll do it to the best of my ability. How excited are you to play with Marta? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've looked up to her for so long and I think it's just, Seeing her the first day, I'm probably just going to be watching her the whole time, and she's going to do something cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's on my team. It's going to be cool. I'm excited. What are you most looking forward to about getting started? Um, honestly, the players, like, playing with just incredible women and then playing against incredible women, it's just going to be a super-duper cool experience. And the, the next year, hopefully, will be that great experience, but I'm, I'm so, so excited. You mentioned adversity. I had the opportunity to watch you multiple times at UNC, but then especially during that final. How do you think that's translated over with your last game in that program coming now as a professional? What do you think you're looking forward to getting back in the game? How's that going for you? Well, unfortunately, that was not my first national championship loss. Um, so I have, this you? isn't my first time going through that. The first time was obviously extremely hard as a freshman and my role just being so different. But then this time it's kind of just, it's, it's hard to overcome, and I'm obviously still not over it, but um, we had such a great year, and, and I'm so, so proud of my team, and I wish, really wish we could have come out on top, but um, to come that close, I'm very, very proud and excited for the next step in my journey, so. Do you oh, I'm sorry. You are okay. our first UNC player tonight. How does that feel going? It is relatively further into the draft than we normally see UNC players go. What do you think? Does that attribute to anything? Um, I honestly don't know. I think, I think all of our players should be drafted tonight, and I think, I don't know. I think <laughs> we should all be drafted because Carolina is such an amazing school, and we're just taught. We, we are in a professional environment every single day, and I don't think not to, I don't think a lot of these schools have the same environment as us, and I think sometimes that might get lost in the draft, which I think it has in the past couple of years, but I'm so, so grateful to have been drafted and I hope, I really hope I see my fellow team members get drafted as well because they really, really do deserve it. And just in terms of like processing, mm -hmm. you talked about that, how, mu 
how do you think that's going to help make you even stronger as a pro when the game's been so fast and furious? Um, I've, I've dealt with any possible situation that has been thrown at me, if that's bench player, 90-minute player, sub, um, whatever that is, I've dealt with it, so I will be ready for whatever is thrown my way, and I'm just excited. Hopefully you'll get the better half of that, but I'm excited. Carolina's um, produced a lot of stars of the game. Uh, are there any that you've looked up to and been inspired by in particular? Um, yeah. I would have to say my coach, Heather O'Reilly. <laughs> um, you don't often get to train with a world champion, but she may be old, but not old, but she may be <laughs> older. She may be older, but she still trains with the same tenacity she had when she was my age. And I just, I truly admire her. And when she steps in and helps us out, she, she raises the level like no other. And it's, she's always been an incredible player. And, I, and I've been so grateful to have her on my coaching staff because she's just been an amazing supporter and mentor. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you guys.